Hello, hello everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Ruin Factory Tides of Destiny. Oh, it's really late. <laughs> really, really late. We spent a lot of time in the water shrine last episode. Taming monsters. Spelunkin. And oh, cool. Cool, cool I caught a cold. Uh, first try. Uh, get some cold medicine. And today is going to be pretty much more of the same thing. I'm going to do some more exploring. And we have to keep an eye out though, because we have some festivals coming up. The Warrior Festival and the Fireworks Festival back to back. I gotta make sure I make enough money for the Fireworks Festival. <laughs> got, got two days of selling stuff. Although the Fireworks Festival, Joe has, has a store opened up, so you can't sell stuff. Can sell stuff to him, I believe, on that day as well. All right, let's go. We have to turn in this request to Gerard and then pick up more of them. Also, where's my cold counter? I think I might be off by one. <laughs> it says 20, 24, I think. I might be off by, by one, but um, at least I am somewhat somewhat accurate. Alright, let me get some food as well. For my fellow townspeople. Mm, what do I want to make? What do I want to make today? Some salted salted pond smelt. There we go, that seems... I don't know. <laughs> Not very delicious. <laughs> seems basic. Uh, I got pickles. Plenty of pudding. Could use some more pudding. And probably more pickles anyway, because giving them out to both Odette and Bacchus does consume them rather quickly. And some more pudding won't hurt. Yeah, let's make enough to level up my cooking to 49. I think we have- do we have enough food? Oh yeah, I made a bunch of fried rice. <laughs> okay, that, that should- that should help me- help me keep going. I level up. I guess, uh, level 13 pudding is... a little bit slow with the level ups. Alright, Gerard. Let's go run after Gerard first. Where- wait, where is he? <laughs> okay, he's, he's in the church. He's in the church right now. Electra's there too, so let's make sure we have some yarn. We have a lot of yarn. Let's toss that in there. Okay, let's go! Do I have french fries? <laughs> There's always some that I forget to make. Uh, let's get some french fries. I was not well prepared last night, just because... We are stuck in the dungeon. Oh, that reminds me, I, got, I gotta watch uh, Delicious in a Dungeon. <laughs> Speaking of delicious food in dungeons, got like two episodes of that to watch. Oh, yeah, try something. Do I, I forgot to make an accessory for... for uh, Sierra, but you know what? I can just buy one here. Where the heck are the french fries? Here we go. French fries are Bismarck. Fuck. You, um, never mind, it's nothing. He's getting all shy with me now. He's like, I know you look like a boy, but on the inside there's a girl. You don't know what to think. What yeah, I'll buy this. Holy cannoli, why is it so expensive? Uh. How many do you need? Buy some more monster cookies. You know what? No. <laughs> no! I thought, I thought you were gonna sell regular pendants but that you upgraded to the heart pendants. I guess because of the story. I shall give you... Let's make a scarf. Here we go. Back to making scarves. Good. Got some walking skill ups. I need my RP back. Alright, Sierra. I'm like... Mentally... 
mentally cooked because I've been playing this game and then I'm playing the next farming sim game that I want to LP and if both both of them involve crafting in order to make more money. So I'm just like cooking and cooking and cooking and now I'm cooked. Um, I've been thinking. I don't think the name Sierra really suits me. It's too prim and girly. Maybe I should try living according to that name. Ahem. What a pleasure to meet you, my dear Aiden. Nope, it's not happening for me. <laughs> okay, that's, that was cute. What am I gonna do for fun when work's over? I can't wait. I don't know why you just run around. <laughs> Playing hide and seek with Bismarck. Uh, not much demand for medicines. Red hot news from Daedalus Blacksmith. We're having an astounding sale on the 17th of every month. Stop by and check out the great deals. Uh, maybe I might I might need some more scrap if I'm spam crafting. But scrap is pretty cheap overall, so not like a big emergency. <laughs> I like to hang out with Sierra. We get along well. She gets along. Sierra gets along with a lot of people. She has tea with Electra. Hangs out with Odette. Very personable. I guess I'll give you a flower. I probably have all the ingredients I need to make fruit parfait. <laughs> that maybe I might not be high enough level to make it, but that would give Lily more friendship. The ends of big towns and the castles of kings, they and the castle of kings still have bards that sing like the old days. I'm not really interested in that. You want to work for for the royal court? That reminds me of like in A Wonderful Life, like Gustafa or Gustafa, one of the rumors. <laughs> That you get for connecting between Mineral Town and that game is like, oh, Gustafa used to used to be a bard of the royal court. Oh, I have a fried turbot. You know, I can have this one. I'm just like, really, that guy? Love grilled fish. I'll accept your gift gladly. Now he's a wandering hippie. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know if you guys are in here. Are they in here? Nope. All by my lonesome. Marcus is over here, though. He's fishing. Fishing by the pond. He fishes where he pleases. Very interested to see your next friendship event. Yeah, it's hot, but you shouldn't only drink cold things. It'll do your stomach in, you see. Me? I'm having liquor. That's a different situation altogether. It's just another vice. Talon's been on this island since I was a lad myself. She was just always there. Poor Bacchus. He's like, he gets oddly sentimental. Hello. Alright, I defeated the tortoises. Here's your reward. I do hope you'll treasure it. I got recovery potion, three of them, large size, and dual recipes, level three. I, or dual blade. So I, you want to check that out? <laughs> dual blades are, are a cool weapon. Do not wave your magical girl wand at him. He's, <laughs> he's, he's fruity enough already. Even I have holidays off. I most often spend them taking a leisurely walk or playing with the children. I try to be a good guardian to them. Lady Electra, I have a yarn ball for you. Thank you. Be, I should give you like cat ears oh. and a cat tail. <laughs> I keep giving you all this yarn. My uncle in Alvarna is very particular about food. He can't eat something if it doesn't taste good. I'm glad my mother will eat anything. Although it's not very motivating because she says everything I make is good whether I work hard on it or not. Alvarna. Oh. Uh... Is that one from one of the Rune Factory games? I I think Cardia is from one. Trampoly is from Frontier. I think maybe that's a reference to a different Rune Factory game that I have not played yet. There you go. A toy herb. 
morning. Next to the mansion is the bathhouse, right? <laughs> I'm the one who cleans it. So between noon and 3 p.m. every day while I'm cleaning while I'm cleaning, the baths are closed. Also, you should only go to the baths once per day. Just because it's free doesn't mean you should spend lots of time there. It's bad for your health. Oh, like you're crashing in the next room. Uh, <laughs> it should be fine. Here, I'll give you the sashimi. Good morning. It's so hot these days. This is no weather for excavating. And yet here you are. What's the matter? If there's anything bothering you, just ask. Just talk to Electra. Just go bother my daughter. Don't bother me. You're the worst mayor. Have some iron. Whoa. Heard that. Wait, <laughs> they haven't got shoes that make you look taller. Let me know if you see any. Promise me. <laughs> James is really the one you should be asked. <laughs> should be asked that. Yeah, but then he probably won't let you live it down. My sister does that. She's short, and like I see her wear like wedges around the house. <laughs> like, I mean, that's self-conscious about being short. And there's, I don't know, they're like her comfy shoes too, like comfy wedges just around the house. I was like, that seems like that would hurt my ankles after a while. Um, okay, Odette wants me to go somewhere. I think this might be a nighttime request, though. Uh, James? I don't know if even James is in the area. I'll do Bismarck. <laughs> Because I don't think his is time gated. Good morning. What's up? Sorry, message on the bulletin board. What do you want me to look into? Um. Well. Hmm? Could you ask around the island about people's ideas of how to be manly? Uh, I guess it's important to ask people's opinions. I think it might be best if you ask people yourself. Uh, Could you please do it? Okay, I'll talk to people. Just leave it to me. Uh, this actually might be a problem because I don't know where James is. Uh, but I think I'm supposed to talk to the men. I think Kelsey counts as a man, right? Oh, she. What does it mean to be a man? Good morning. Um, well, people always tell me I need to be more energetic. Oh. Thank you for the answer. Yay! Good morning! Good morning! Alright, do I wanna bother Joe? Joe might have some ideas about what it is to be manly. He's in the changing room. They might not be the right ideas, but his heart his heart's in it. Alan has gone back to the forest of beginnings. But don't worry, we'll take good care of the egg she left. Just, uh, just there on Telltale Heights. This is gonna become, is gonna become the windfish. <laughs> Suck if it hatches and then the island disappears because it was all a dream. Ooh, spooky. Joe. Joe. Hmm. Man needs strength, courage, and a rival, and romance and adventure, and a beautiful girl, and. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> uh. Well, yeah, he's the, the the more romantic sense of being a man, I guess. Uh, I okay. Here's here's a recover recovery potion for your head. Wow. Pandora, I have a rune crystal for you. Here you go. Greetings. This is a rune crystal. You may be at ease, Minion. Oh-ho! You have come just at the right time. I wish to speak with you. About what? Hm. Oh, nothing much. One moment, let me explain. Hi, we're just, okay, hanging out at my, my place on the bed. This is, uh, this is escalating real quick now. Humph! So this is your house? 
A crude dwelling. Hey, you used to live here. <laughs> you still visit sometimes, too. You stayed here the whole time you were a ghost. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In any case, my new plan for conquering the world is to use your golem. Nope, that's not happening. If you're gonna call yourself an arch sorceress, then quit trying to get other people to do your work for you. Why don't you do it? Huh? Ugh. Why would I, when I have people on hand to do my bidding as minions? Needless to say, once my magic powers are fully restored, I shall conquer the world in the blink of an eye! And you two ingrates will only receive the smallest territories to rule. Even you should beg my forgiveness. I will not enlarge them. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we, we had an argument with Pandora. Uh, Alright, yeah, I can talk to Bacchus and uh, Gerard, but yeah, James, I have to wait. Oh well, I could leave the other requests on the board. They're not going anywhere. And I can just keep exploring the water shrine. Okay, Bacchus has not moved. Oh my! Why hello there. <laughs> You've got to have a good mane of hair. Grow a nice bushy beard. The longer the better. Where's your beard? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he has long, luscious locks. Actually, his hair looks a little oily to me, just because it's like the strands all stuck together, but. I make sure to work out every single day. It's very important to keep both your mind and body healthy. Yeah. Alright. Be very hairy. Ma manliness is next to hairiness, which Bacchus has a lot of. Looking mighty energetic. <laughs> Ideas on how to be manly. He has nothing for me. <laughs> He's just like... Nope, back to fishing, not answering that. Uh, alright, yeah. James is, uh, James is off island right now, so let's... Let's do our own thing. Although I don't know if James is even a good example of manliness, he's just gonna talk about his sister. Exhaustingly enough. Fresh, 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 fresh. <laughs> like my barn is a little bit too full. And the duck is ready to be. The egg is ready to be extracted from its butt. Still have a use for all of you. Although, if I have a good source of rubies, I could probably get rid of Monster Box. Goblin King... Thing is, Goblin King still give me, gives me turnips and a potential pom-pom flower. <laughs> so I want to keep you. Tattle is just cute. Let's check out my crops. And my trees. Lots of strawberries. I can make maybe fruit parfaits are in my future. I need trees to cut down. I feel like I that might be a for a while. I have chopped down a lot of them. They do take a while to regrow. Yeah. I'm tempted to throw <laughs> to throw down two of these green spirits. <laughs> Cause that will get this island to 100 percent I think I'll do that. Any extra earth spirits, I'll just throw on the other islands as well. But yeah, we've been we've been hanging on. <laughs> That two percent for our super long here. Let's go. Just add add a little wind power. Loop. All right. The cherry tree is fully grown. And when we check, 
Our island status is at 100%. It even has a little, little earth elemental next to it to show that it's like fully ranked up. Uh, okay, and then we can plant. We have access to all the planting points. Just gotta, just gotta find them. One here. One over here, and then I have that whole other plot over there. That I can finally use. Well, it's kind of weird this edge has nothing on it. It feels empty there. Oops, missed that spot. There we go, that's right. Dance! Dance and stomp. I'm gonna check out the other islands real fast. I got saw some fire. Red spirits. Let's go. So happy. Yeah. Yes. Three o'clock. It is indeed three o'clock. I can actually take a bath. Only really one spot here. That's super lame. <laughs> lame. the planting spots here? Nope. Future. Future areas. And a whole lot of nothing. Okay. We need more fire spirits. And I don't think the trees are done yet. Our, our squirrel king is still low level. Gold is no gold is no longer rare. I'm getting a lot of it. Not, not, I only got like a few pieces. Now I'm like, all right, that's excitement's over. Oh, I'll be useful for crafting later. I do eventually want to make like one of every good weapon of the game and play around with it. Gold. Take that. Right, excellent. Make me gems so I can give them to Pandora next. I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna take you with me. And who's good? Take you with me. Feels weird only having two spots open <laughs> for monster taming. Uh. Yeah, I might need to might need to fire someone. I'll worry about that after taming the next two monsters. <laughs> it, was, it just still kind of buzzed me out that I, like, I tamed the water elemental and then turned out I didn't have any space to, to keep it. I'm just like... Mm. It's still a little salty. Even though I slayed it, so I got credit for that. Enough level to make a fruit parfait. 
Oh, no, I don't have pineapples. So close. And four- <laughs> need 30 more levels. <laughs> or technically 10, but... Definitely don't want to... have that tiny bar to work with when crafting. Alright, let's take a bath. Maybe make a few more scarves, sell them, and then... Go to the water shrine. I think we're almost on floor four or floor, floor five. I just have to like run straight across and then I hit the stairs. I like, I did all the shenanigans with the levers. Mm -hmm. Woo, feel so alive. I got plenty of fried rice to recover myself with too. More scars. I just get to like half RP. Like I can work with that amount. Skill <laughs> How many scarves can I make before the skill up thing fades away? All right, one more. Hey there! Oh, you're here. Hey, what's up? Summer is be summertime is beach time. Oh, at the beach. I actually haven't seen you a lot at the beach. <laughs> Maybe on a rainy day, oddly enough. Selling something? And then you, you're not even in your swimsuit. Selling something? Selling something? Come on, haggle up. Selling something? Nope, 420. Selling something? Selling something? Bismarck will be angry. When, is, when has that ever stopped you? Selling something? Selling something? I want a little bit higher than 770. Selling something? Maybe maybe not 980, but selling something? Maybe 840 or something. Selling something? Uh, okay, okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks. Nope. Uh, I actually got a d good deal and then I messed it up by Selling mashing. Selling something? Selling something? Yes! Selling something? Darn, I was like, yeah, I could go higher. Selling something? I'm gonna take that offer. Okay, actually, that's it. Selling something? That tap- yeah, green curtains. I'll sell these green curtains. No, I'll Thanks. sell it for a thousand. <laughs> Does that make my life too complicated? Hey, my haggling's going up. The silver lining to that is that I have a haggling skill that can I can level up and gain, gain stat points for doing it. Oh god. Slide on Ymir's face. Okay, I have friends. Yep. Friends with me. Yep. <laughs> I kind of want to explore the first floor again to see if I can find that that uh, that little wizard monster, the necromancer, <laughs> and see if I can handle it. Be careful. But I know it, it might not spawn. Ooh. Okay. Let me just get rid of this gate over here. <laughs> I don't want disturbance disturbances rather. I just wanna see if it blows up in my face. Yeah. That duck seems like it won't really reach me, but I can I can interrupt the attack but not the song. 
Uh, I don't want to get too close to the other gate, and I just did the bird feather. I think I think they recall back. I don't think they'll follow me this far, unless it's the slime. Then of course they follow me that far. All right, am I gonna? <laughs> oh, I'm all scared. The fear. There it is. It's the necrobancer. It has not hit me yet. I have full health, so... You run around a lot. Right, stay there. Oh, ge the gear. <laughs> My gear has a. Uh, it really makes a difference. Unless he crit me. It's very possible that he critted me. May. May the mage. It's a necromancer. Grows pumpkins. I don't think I have anything that grows pumpkins. Hmm. Not at the moment, anyway. It claims it has the ability to ability to bring anything alive, but nobody has seen has seen it has seen it use the power. <laughs> Shima. Okay, I think that's a little typo there. All right, well, it'd be cool if you could raise the army of the dead. I mean, you made me super dead, but you didn't bring me back to life. I don't want to keep it <clears throat> because it can make pumpkins, but. Mm, all right, let's keep going. I still need to slay the thing, though. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I should go back down. I, I think I'll go back down. Let's uh, let's see if I can get another white monster gate <laughs> and then slay the thing, and then I can check that off my list. It's yeah, it's not too hard with with the new gear, the woolly hat, the cape, the woolly scarf. Like, gear matters. Uh, okay, it's not spawn there. Oh, no tortoise shell. Nori seaweed. Just like trying to see from a certain draw distance, like, what's, what's a white gate? And then what, when can I just teleport back and try to respawn them? <laughs> There, I'll try to re redo. Respawn them! Uh, you are not white. You are... you're off-white. I don't even know what color that is. <laughs> it's not water, because... Water is deep below, and that obviously gives me water crystals sometimes. Okay. And then there's like that pale, that, that like that pale yellowy gate. And let's see. can I find one? Maybe this will be the last, the last uh, scouting attempt, and then I'll try again tomorrow. I want to make a little bit of progress. Within the dungeon. Alright, all elemental, no whites. Okay, let's go to floor three. I'm very close to floor four. I think I just have to run straight across. And keep my eyes peeled for a white gate. Because I'll have another chance to get a water elemental out of there. Right from this vantage point, you can see a lot of the gates. Ooh, there's one. Uh, this should be safe from interference. What are you? Ah, uh, you're just the wolf king. 
I've, I've both tamed and slayed you. Ow. Stop punching me. Ow. Don't flinch, bruh. You have poison claws! You dropped a gold. Is you're a special monster to drop special material. Alright, next floor. Right, floor four. Oh boy, this is another and like finally some spirits. This is a warpy. This is a warpy floor. Where is it gonna take me? Who knows? Oh, we got hobgoblins. Oop, I already have my axe, my ox equipped. Bam. I think I'll ta I'll tame that hobgoblin. And I think that'll be it for the floor exploration. Exploration, rather. Ah. Alright, stop. How did I kill three of you at the same time? I was like... <laughs> I was like... Killing two, and just... Guess I lost track of them. Watch out! Now I have three gates. Well, this seems like a fun place to like grind. There's a lot of you guys. I learned the axe slash hammer special attack. Special attack can be executed at the end of a normal combo if you keep pressing the A button. A special attack is a devastating move, but it can take a while to execute, so watch out for long range attacks while you're pulling it off. Yeah, sometimes you'll be doing like this combo and just like swinging and twirling around and then you'll notice one of the bosters is winding up an attack. You're like, oh no, no, stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna knock you out. Damn, that's uh, pretty good though. That's, that has some range. It's like a cone attack. I've uh, murdered everyone. <laughs> Don't die. He's like probably a hair away from dying. Oh, I am a hair away from dying. Eh, I'm gonna keep, keep going. Come on, be my friend. Friends. Hoba. <laughs> Hoba the Hobgoblin. Go strawberry, cabbages, and cucumbers. Not very good. Uh, the older of the goblin bros. He is a nice older brother that always looks after his siblings. Aw, babe. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna sacrifice the necromancers and hobgoblin, cuz. Yeah, I don't. I'm pretty sure one of the new monsters I'm gonna tame. Makes pumpkins. Actually, yeah, the the it's either the water or the wind elemental grows pumpkins. I guess wind wind is a little bit in the future, but yeah, I I, I don't have a dire need for pumpkins right now. All right, I'll go to bed. I have to like mentally convince myself to get rid of this necromancer. It's already a little late. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna like pass out and go to bread anyway. Is James back? <laughs> no. Maybe he'll be back in the morning. It is Thursday, so he technically should be back because he has to run a store. I can make more scarves. Knit till I drop. 
Right. Out of energy. Let's save. Try to catch myself another cold. Yeah, save over here. Everyone's still my best friend. Let. Give up. Yes, you will. All right, caught a cold. Cool, Rooney. <laughs> I knew I was just having really bad luck earlier. Now I'm back to catching a cold every day. Mm, where are my pills? Taking my pills. I am 25, 25 down. I'm a quarter of the way there, guys. Progress. All right, James is here. I'm gonna talk to him and then finally be able to it's turn in this out. Bismarck request and then I'll be able to grab some other ones in the meantime. James, don't you run away from me. I need to ask you what it means to be a man. Good morning, you two. Hi, Aiden, Sonia. Would you like to talk for a fine? <laughs> sure. Let's walk then. No, wait, I need to ask you what it means to be a man. Take me all the way to the pier. <clears throat> oh boy. Huh? What's up? Is there something wrong with James, Aiden? How would I know? Come on, ask him. There's, there's a lot wrong with James. What are you talking about? Me? Do I have to? Oh, all right. She's having a conversation in his head. <laughs> James! What's up? You look like you've eaten something really nasty. James! Hello? Yeah. Aiden! Where did you come from? You invited me? <laughs> Get a grip on yourself. You're the one who asked us to come here, right? But... I did? I don't remember that. But anyway, perfect timing. Can I just talk to you about something? Actually, uh, I've split up with my girlfriend. Oh, you did? <laughs> what? You split up? Why? Well, to be honest, she dumped me. Why? What happened? The way she tells it, because I didn't go and see her enough. Ah! Uh, and he probably guess who he was seeing instead. He was trying to give more attention to his sister than he was his girlfriend. Oh, James, I'm sorry. You mentioned you were going to spend more time with Elena again. Don't tell me. Yeah. That's right. Putting my sister over my girlfriend might well be the cause of all this. <clears throat> I really messed things up. Cheer up, okay? I'm not really sure what to say at a time like this. But if you have a positive attitude and just keep on trying hard... Sure, good things will come to you. I mean, yeah, it's good that he's like putting his family first, but yeah, like your partner should should probably take precedent, especially since Elena like doesn't really need need or want your involvement that much. Thank you. Uh, you cheered me up at least just a little bit. Uh, Sonia, Sonia's just gonna cheer him up regardless of whether he was right or wrong. Yeah. Yes, you're right, Sonia. I need to be more positive. I'm going to start by working hard and becoming the kind of businessman that will make her head spin. Ha! Yeah, then she'll be super jealous. And I've still got my dear sister in my corner. I'll be okay. I'm not sure about that one, but... Oh, and listen to this. Just the other day, Elena... And he's off again. This is your fault. <laughs> Yeah, but it's nice to have a little bit of the old James back, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I'll give you that. Well, he does love his sister. <laughs> Your friendship with James is now level 5. Now I gotta find you and talk to you about what it means to be a man. Uh, might, might, not, might not be the right time to talk about that topic, but... Do I really have to participate in the Warrior Festival? Okay! 
Of course, you're a boy, so you have to show everyone you're strong. But... Makoto's strong and she's a girl. Although we don't technically know that. <laughs> Aiden still believes Makoto as a boy. <laughs> Even though it's pretty obvious, I don't know. Oops. Well. Tomorrow will be the warrior festival. You have to defeat the targets that come out during the festival. I may have retired, but that doesn't mean I'll lose to, lose to some upstart youngin. I mentioned to begin. Ready to fight? I just, yeah, I just, the Warrior Festival is kind of fun. It's it's a mini game. Although it's a little annoying. Uh, just because sometimes it's hard to control your weapon. How to be manly? I've never thought about it. I guess just be yourself. <laughs> I've been asked by Makoto to take part in the Warrior Festival tomorrow. Hmm. Not really the athletic type, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure if James really knows what it be means to be manly. He's, he's just oddly obsessive. Good morning. Before you run over there, you let me give you a turn at. You make me this. Ours the Warrior Festival. Now we'll see who's the best. Who's the best fighter is. But don't worry, Makoto is the judge and doesn't take part. Obviously, Makoto would win every year. Otherwise, gotta gotta. Maybe we should have brackets uh, like. It's nice to see you again. Like the pro it's bracket. Uh, I don't have any chairs for you. I will give you which I'm putting today. This look. Speaking of pudding, uh, James, I forgot to give you one. There you go. I brought in some rare tools from the continent recently. In particular, I recommend workbenches. All right, la la la. I got all the workbenches from you. <laughs> you have nothing else to sell me, Pandora. Uh, I don't have any gems on me. I'll, I'll just chat you up. I do not plan to take part part in tomorrow's warrior festival. It's better than that the world would remain ignorant of my true might. I order you to take part as my champion, minion. Why do you seek me? To beg forgiveness? No matter how you beg, I'll give you nothing more than a puny territory to rule. You're so immature. Uh. Hello. Why, good morning. Tomorrow's a warrior contest. Good luck, Aiden. Aren't you going to enter Gerard? Oh my! Oh dear me! Of course not. The warrior contest is not a place for a priest like me. Can you imagine me fighting? I, I guess not. He's actually a really good fighter. <laughs> so Talon has gone back home. Things will be a bit lonely without her. Here you go, Violet. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. How can I help you? Mars Warrior Contest is a contest for everyone to compete to see who's the best fighter. Odette always takes it really seriously. I don't know what she gets so excited about. <laughs> it's kind of enough. Odd that she's she gets all worked up for that contest. Not even a cooking contest. I mean, she wants to show off her knife skills. Is uh Quinn around here? Yeah, she's around here. And I don't have any more yarn balls. This always happens. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a flower. Thank you. Oh. Oops. Oh. Yay! Yay! Kelsey and Mary are going to enter the warrior contest tomorrow. I think everyone is going to enter the warrior contest tomorrow. If you're planning on entering, you'll need to work hard to win. Morning. All right. Yeah, I think I've talked to all the men. Good morning. Um, what did people say? 
the most important thing when it comes to being manliness is being yourself strength or lots of pain. I mean, uh, I don't want to skip James advice, but that seems to be the best way. Um, I mean, trying to get strong. Obviously, lots of hair. That could just depend on genetics, like... No. Being yourself... I mean, Bismarck doesn't want to, like, really... He wants to change himself. So I guess the best answer technically would be strength. Like, strength... Not just physical strength, just, like... Pick something and get stronger in it. Boost confidence. I'll say strength. Um... I am working out at home, even though you can't really tell. I guess you'll just have to work at it, but not get too overwhelmed. I'll try my best. Thank you so much. Thank you for asking around for me. It's just like something to boost confidence. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what you pick for that for that answer. Um, Excuse me. Uh, oh, you want to talk? Yeah, sure. That sounds nice. And have a nice little din, din And that's what happened. Sounds like just what I expect from Sierra. <laughs> oh, okay, we're having like a normal conversation. Hey Aiden, he's doing pretty well today, isn't he? Although it has taken 30 minutes to get him to this point. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's your food. Thank you! I love this! R really Oh? You're in control of the body today, Sonia? Any reason? Yeah, well, we got some stuff going on. I think they just know. Like, oh, Sonia, you're, you're at the steering wheel. Okay, sounds interesting. Good luck, Bismarck. Looks like you'll need it. Yes, well, thank you. Sorry for getting in your way. I'll leave you both to it. <laughs> so I'd better be going. Yeah, see you soon. Oops, get, a little warm, get a little warm in my room. Speaking of getting cooked today. I'm broiling in my sweater. I'm free. How's he doing? Exactly how he looks. He's starting to handle talking to Sonya, but he still needs to make a lot more progress. Yeah. Yeah. Yet, when he's in work mode, he gets along just fine, doesn't he? I've known him for longer than I can remember, but he can't even look at me in the eye unless we're talking about work. What am I, some wild beast? He can be kind of intimidating. Now that you mention it. <laughs> hey! Got something to say, have you? He's making progress, though. Gradually, but he is. Hum. That's good, then. Alright, friendship with Bismarck is now level four. Woo! Good morning! Thank you. A toy herb. <laughs> Tomorrow's the warrior festival to celebrate the martial arts. Sunny. Yeah, the warrior contest will be held on the church plaza on the 18th. Hmm, R2, do I want to talk to? Got a secret request. What do I do? You're still searching for a pot. Hmm, <laughs> promise to James? Maybe Electra. Do I have the thing for Electra? Electra. Looking for materials. Three pieces of silver. I can do that. Time to go see Electra. Oh, I have something to give Bismarck. I think I forgot to make French fries. Yeah, I just I just like turned in the request. Make one for today and one for tomorrow. Get some juice as well. No 
don't even remember who I talked to today. <laughs> I talked to a lot of people today. Give you French fries. There you are. Here they are. Thank you. The warrior festival? No, no, I'm not any good with such violent pursuits. I received an invitation from Makoto, but I, I had to decline. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you're working out. You gotta sh you gotta what show you off selling? your progress. What are you selling? Oops, not that one. <laughs> What are you selling? Uh, come on. What are you selling? What are you selling? Really? What are you selling? What are you selling? Uh, can you please? What are you selling? Okay. Thank you so much. I think I should have waited to get more scarves because that took a while. What are you selling? Alright, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna wait to get more scarves. Who have I not talked to today? Talk to you guys. I need to find Electra. Also, I forgot to pick out the silver out of my inventory, of course. I was like, alright, did some cooking, forgot, forgot the main thing I came to the house for. For a second, I thought I had like 68 gold. That's bronze. Actually, I have a favor I'd like to ask you in private. Uh, what's up? You go off island a lot, right? They have many opportunities to get silver. Sure, probably more than other people on the island. Oh, good. Could you give me three pieces, silver pieces? I use silver in my accessories and I never have enough of it. Thank you very much. Surprised you don't like getting gems as well <laughs> if, if you like making accessories. There we go. Is this enough? Thank you very much. I should be able to make a nice should make nice accessories with this. I've been selling a lot of my accessories recently. <laughs> it's so wonderful to have my work appreciated by so many people. Please take this as a thank you. Right, got body recipes level S. Nice work. Does that have a cape? My black cape? I would love to craft that. <laughs> Alright, James. He has a request that needs to stay secret. Let me see, let me just see ahead of time what he wants before I run over there. Uh Find out why Elena's preoccupied. She might be asleep. I think Elena's gonna fall asleep in like nine seconds. <laughs> How about Kelsey? Kelsey, Kelsey, where is Kelsey? Uh, where did I put Kelsey? Is that the bottom. What do I do? Need a piece of cloth. You can either give him cheaper quality. He'll give me different juice. Time to go see Kelsey. I think he was at the pier? Last I saw him? Do I have enough quality cloth to warrant giving him one? If I, if I give him cheap cloth, he'll give me orange juice. I think quality cloth, he'll give me... He'll give me fruit juice. I'll give him quality. That's probably a bad idea, but... <laughs> probably a very bad idea. Can I make a pot? Oh. Only fairy dust. Hmm. Good There's not any fairies in the water spirit shrine, huh? It's my day. There will be other places where we can get fairy dust. I think it, that's in the wind shrine. <laughs> What is it? You have cloth. You want cheap cloth or quality cloth? Either. 
I just need one. I can't say why right now. All right, but I hope you'll tell me why you need it later. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Here, I'll give you quality, Kelsey. I, I, I like you, Kelsey. No problem. So what's it for? Um, I'm gonna fix Father Gerard's clothes because he always fixes mine. You think I can do it just as good as he can? I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. Might be hard at first, but just keep practicing. <laughs> I'm sure Gerard will probably help you out. <laughs> he, wa he wants you to learn. Thank you. Thanks. Here. Alright, we got some fruit juice in exchange for the quality cloth. What's next? I can take a <laughs> bath all by myself. Good job, boy. He's hanging out. He's like... Hanging out by himself a lot more often, huh? Instead of like always, always being attached to Quinn at the hip. All right, I think I will. I'll pick up Odette's request. I, I'm pretty sure James. I have to talk to Elena. She's she's snoozing. Time to go see Odette. Hey, hello. I see you two are rushing oh. around busily as always. Oh. Do you see my message on the bulletin board? Yeah, you've got a problem? Well, it's not a big problem, but... Really? I guess you can help me, Aiden. I have somewhere I want to go at night. Could you talk to me tonight? At night? Got it. Alright, so around 8pm we have to come back. Uh, is there anyone else I can talk to? I don't think I've talked to Makoto or Sierra or Marowen. But she's in the bathhouse right now. Koto's hanging out in the cave looking for danger. We Sierra is... is in her swimsuit today! Hey there! Tomorrow's a warrior festival. Are you gonna show up, Aiden? <laughs> if you do, then I guess I'll have to give you some competition. I feel like Sierra would would be good competition. Uh, I forgot to get an accessory for you. I'm just gonna give you pudding. Here you go, food. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chow down. Wooly wooly scarf, such a cool name. Wooly 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 wooly. That's why. <laughs> that's what it is. All right. Oh, what is it again? <laughs> Can you say that five times fast? Oh, right, I haven't talked to Joe either. I'll find him over there. Running around in circles. Good afternoon. Tomorrow's a warrior contest. It's a bit early, but shall I tell you the rules of the contest now? Okay. This is a contest to test your skills. Targets will appear in the designated area. You must use your weapons to defeat them. Whoever scores the most points within the time limit is the winner. I've prepared wonderful prizes for the winner, so I hope you'll give it everything you've got. I'm pretty sure I have a fried dish. Yeah, fried turret. Ah. There's a saying that goes, the art of war is the art of peace. Uh, what does that mean? It means that the job of a warrior is not to hurt people, but to protect them. I strive to be mindful of that at all times. Alright. Been to like every area five times. It's hard when people are like moving independently. They slip past you. Uh, Joe, I actually have this courage badge that you can have. Joe! Joe! For me? Go! <laughs> hey! Hey, just what I wanted to see. Can you give me a hand here? Yeah, sure. Great, come with me. An event. Why are we at my house? What's up? You never come around like this. Okay, Aiden, it's time for you to fess up. Oh. Who was that girl? I saw her going inside here yesterday again. Are you sure it isn't Pandora? I have no idea. I think I noticed someone coming into my house. I'm pretty sure it's Pandora. Pandora and Sierra have been loitering in my house. Fine then, I don't believe you. I'm just just gonna stay here and wait for her. Are you really? And he sits. 
Um, okay, I got work to do. Is that okay, Aiden? Sure, why not? I like to get to the bottom of this mystery. And then... Bruh. He just... <laughs> He's always asleep. <laughs> we waited for him. Hey, wake up! Huh? Ugh. Why did I fall asleep? I don't care, just go home. Darn it. Well, I'll head home, but I'll be back. I won't rest until I figure out who this mystery girl is. He's determined. <laughs> Hope you had a nice nap. <laughs> what a weirdo. Uh. That was only level four. See, look at the, the girls right here. It's Pandora. <laughs> She's always be hanging out here. <laughs> Speaking of thinking of Pandora. Have a jewel. Jewel. Jewels. I had a dream in which Phoenix Island was deluged by rain and sunk. In my domain if my domain were to sink, that would be my end. A thought beyond contemplation. An unpleasant dream indeed. It's not your domain, but okay. I like, I like always all, all of Aiden's quips to Pandora. <laughs> he's like... She's supposed to be evil, but he's just like over it. Mmm, I shall give you... I'll give you pudding. Afternoon. During the warrior festival, you also try to defeat as many targets as you can during a set time period. Wonderful. I'm expecting great things from you, Aiden. Wonderful. The sweat you work up while on an adventure is different from any other sweat. Can I talk to Marowen or is she just gonna be like, you can't come in the bath? You have some Huh? Huh? What is it? Looking for something to do. What? Do you have business with me? <laughs> I guess we could do want to talk. Huh? Talk with you. Hmm. Well, I suppose I can spare a moment. Is this friendship event number six? Hey, about the other day. The other day? Which one? When you proposed the idea of Lady Electra and I working together. Hmm. Oh, that. I just wanted to thank you. Merwin, where are you? It's time to buy the things we need for tomorrow's stew. Will you help me? Oh, I have to go. Uh, bye. Huh. Okay, well, their relationship is going swimmingly. Looks like things are going better now between Merwin and Electra. <laughs> All thanks to you, Aiden. Good boy. Stop treating me like a little kid. Alright, now they can work together and not step on each other's toes. And now Merwin is at level 6 friendship. Uh, we won't be able to get beyond that until uh, we complete the main story. Are you going to take part in the Warrior Festival tomorrow, Aiden? I plan to. Actually, somehow it turns out that I'm signed up. Go easy on me, okay? I probably don't need to even give her gifts anymore. We can cap out her affection at level 6. So when we're able to get it to level 7, we can just like do the event right away. But as we do like festival contests and whatnot, we'll, we'll gain just like some passive, some passive friendship boost. So it's not really necessary to throw gifts in her face right now. I'm actually not that good of a fighter, even though you're hot headed. But as a guy, I can't skip out on the warrior contest. You're entering too, right, Aiden? Just pretend all the targets are fish or something or treasure. That, Hello. That, that should that should do it. I don't think I have anything to appraise. I've been told that tomorrow's a festival called the Warrior Festival. I think I'll go and watch. Did I give you a gift today? If you're gonna take part, then I'll be there to support you. Um, I will give you another one just in case. No rules saying I can't. 
All right, talk to everyone except Elena, because she's snoozing. All right, let's do a little something. Let's do a little bit more exploring in the Water Spirit Shrine until 8 p.m. and then we can do Odette's request. And maybe, maybe we can squeeze in James. Uh, once Elena wakes up. I gotta be careful not to, like, lose track of time. All right, May, you can go back to the Forest of Beginnings. And Ho Hoba, you can return to the Forest of Beginnings as well. Thanks for everything. Thanks for existing. Thanks for being you. Can't wait to get Fall Island now so I can like put this guy and this guy on there. Get my space back. I'll take you with me. Because I love you and I want you to be strong. I think I forgot to harvest you. Doesn't really matter, but free egg. Free egg is good. Better than not having egg. All right, let's go ashore. <laughs> should I see if I can fight the necromancer again? Or should I just... I think I'll, I'll keep... I'll keep moving ahead. Uh, just because we have like, what, six minutes? Let's see how far I can get in six minutes. Alright, teleport away. I'm not sure if there's any levers on this floor or if this, oh, the whole gimmick is just... It's just, uh, teleport pads. Teleport pad hopping. It's very linear. Just like, go to the next one. Maybe there'll be a branching path somewhere. Oh, it's a tramp. Oh, we got different wizard. <laughs> I, I can only tell because their staff color is different. I'm just gonna seal your magic. Don't mind me. Ow. Hit by a bubble. They're doing a lot of wind magic. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> it's like he's like batter up. Get rid of some of you fellas. Pull the herd. The tortoises aren't really doing much though. Spikes. You guys are pretty far apart. Brush, brush, brush. I skilled up. Okay. I'm not sure what that move is called, like Luff Messer or something. I can actually do that if I get like a staff. I can do that move. Don't kill it. Witch. Uh, girls, turnips, pumpkins, and eggplants. Like, we've seen monsters that can do that, but just in a different order. Looking after little mage- it's a little wizard. Looking after little mage's magic practice may be hard, but it's also rewarding. <laughs> they have like a hierarchy. It's <laughs> like the little wizard is like the tutor to the little mage. <laughs> Let's finish the rest of you off. Home run! Uh, I think this way? Yeah, this is this is the teleport pad. That's new. Ooh, new monster. Uh, I think I can probably 
just two of you. You missed. I think I have space for you. Red. How cute! Red is a blood panther? Kind of similar to the, the other panther, the black panther. Grows green pepper, eggplants, and turnips. A bloodthirsty monster that sucks the blood out of its prey. It uses its fangs for its kills. Alright, so we got two ways. I have a feeling this one, that one... Probably another one is like a dead end. <laughs> Ow. I'll check out the dead ends. Because dead ends equal treasure. White grass. White grass. Uh, can I just leave? <laughs> I got the spirits. Don't really need to pick up the white grass. I can buy that from Violet. What's over here? Is this a dead end? This room looks a little bigger. There's a chest. And a jug. Lots and lots of monsters. Uh, let me get my monsters on board. They're like stuck in another zone. A water ring. Wow. Not every day you find equipment. Black grass. I'll oh, grab you. I think I can use you for like curry. <laughs> right on my tail. You seem like another treasure room. Oh. It's already six. It's already six. That seems like it goes somewhere. Uh let me check the other warp pad. I wanna check all the dead ends. He. <laughs> Okay, we got some branching paths here. Don't mind me! <laughs> Just... And then we have the warp pad down here. It's probably what we need to unlock. Yeah. Okay, I'll check out the previous room. Uh, but I think I will leave soon. It's almost... it's almost 8. Maybe when I get to the end of this room. Just going over here. There's the lever. And some golems. Elena would be thrilled. Uh, it's a trap. That's the golem doing. It's like charging up its fists. <laughs> the episode didn't see with the fist. Uh, I could probably just... There's a warp pad there. I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. But I think I'll leave. Bye. It's almost eight. I don't want to get- I don't want to get too deep in and be like, I can't leave. It's a good time to take a bath, probably. Oops. This away. I don't even remember if I gave Bacchus a gift today. I think I made all these pickles. We made that many scarves. Bath time. Do, 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 do. Good afternoon. Oh. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can listen to Violet taking a bath. As weird as that sounds. 
Wait for her to like get into position. Okay, she's not moving anymore in there. As indicated by the fast forward sign. Oh, arrow signs, take a bath. Regular bath. Oh, I feel so alive. I know there's a there's a bath time event where all three sisters are taking a bath, and you you uh you uh listen in on their conversation, talking about their assets. All right, I need money. Tomorrow is a holiday, I won't be able to sell stuff. I wanna make sure I am good on my fortunes. I might be chowing down on a lot of fried rice. How many scarves can I make? I wonder if I should record again today. I I got a little lucky. Although it kinda of bummer for my boyfriend. He's like, I gotta change the oil and he's like gonna stay at the mechanics for a bit while they while they do that. It's like, okay, I can record. Like I'm trying really hard to keep like a daily upload schedule, which is probably not very reasonable because I mean I I have really long episodes. It would be reasonable if I took breaks every now and then. I don't know. I'm having fun. Cause that's all that matters. Oh hello. <laughs> Why is Bacchus standing? Do you have something to sell? Oh perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I guess taking a break as well, like over Christmas. <laughs> As it has given me a second win. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have all these games I want to play. I'm getting like the next farming sim LP ready. Before I was like falling behind, like either like I didn't have enough energy to do like more research into like a new farming sim, so I was like playing, thinking about playing more Otome games, which are fun, but not everyone likes them. Lily, you were born in the spring. Huh? Yes? On spring 26? How did you know that? I just guessed. Didn't I give you a present then? <laughs> it's past. Oh, boo. I know what you mean. You're gonna be... You're going by the saying that people born in spring are airheads. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hey there. You're looking mighty energetic. You're gonna give me this pretty turn up. Well... <laughs> why do you th why do you think the bar doesn't serve during the day? That ain't a bar. <laughs> no booze during the day, and what's worse, no songs from Sweet Lily either. That's why I don't even bother with the bar during daylight hours. <laughs> you have a fan. There's Odette's cooking. At least she's right there. <laughs> Just I'll be ready to go in 15 seconds. Make more scarves. Pretty sure you guys wouldn't get mad at me if I if I Can't took breaks and uploads though. <laughs> I probably there's probably too much to watch on YouTube. Like a lot of people are getting over overwhelmed with their backlogs. I'm like, yeah, you don't really need to keep up with me. I mean, I just I just very easygoing content. Play it in the background or something. It's not homework. There we go. I'm dying. I'll eat some more fried rice. This is it. I <laughs> level 85 crafting. <laughs> I 
Have I taken this too far? Oh, right. Let me check out the body recipes I got. Uh, does that include the black cape? It's not the other ones. It does- oh, the black robe, rather. Uh, I can almost make that. I have four leaf clovers in the ground. <laughs> uh, cape that increases magic resistance is considered the mark of a true wizard. However, dark attack plus 20. That's a lot of HP for the woolly belt. We're getting a pom pom flower. Expensive furry belt that can help with indigestion. What? Does it? Does it? Uh, does it do something to your stomach? Does it warm it up? Increase blood flow? That's actually some some good defense and HP overall. Hmm. This one actually might be better because dark attack. I mean, if you pair it up with a dark weapon, but those aren't technically the best weapons in the game. I, I, I can technically make this one soon. But, however, um, I want to level up my crafting. Since so this is like technically end game item, end game equipment, I do want to star rank it. So I'm gonna, s like, when it, when it comes time to make it, I'm definitely gonna scum. To make it the best, the now. best I possibly can. I don't want to have to make it multiple times. I want to make sure it's the best of the best. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> well, my boyfriend's done with the oil change, so I guess no recording second episode. That's fine. We'll pro you probably won't even notice a gap because yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm doing pretty good on the progress, I have to say. Do you have something to sell? Luckily, I'm not getting stuck on this game either. <laughs> like I, I get, I get trucked sometimes, but Thank you. I can always, I can always pull through it by just making better gear. I feel like I'm I'm pretty overleveled. I'm gonna make some more scarves. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> doing doing two birds, two birds, one stone. <laughs> I need this for the money, and I need this for the skill-ups. Also, I forgot about Elena's sale, but that's fine. If I need more scrap, I'm not gonna, like, agonize. I'm not gonna agonize that, like, oh, I didn't get it on sale. <laughs> Until I drop 86! It's gonna take a long time to get. It's gonna take a long time to get to 94. I think that's reasonable to get to 94 and then try to craft the black robe. So if you if you have your skill level below the item that you're trying to make, and then you're like trying to scum to star rank it, then that's like it's gonna take you a lot of reloads. Make more fried rice. My bag is full. By the time I get to the inn, it's gonna be eight. I can talk to Odette. Good evening. Good evening. Do you have something to sell? Give me a good deal, Do you have please. Something to sell? That's good enough. Graphics. Stomps. <laughs> I've hit over 100,000. I'm working towards 200,000. Excessiveness. Do you have something to sell? That's good. Thank you. 
Hee <laughs> hee. Marcus is having a interesting Good drinking. <laughs> My day is far from over, though. I'm very excited with his drinking. Is what I'm trying to say. Good evening. All right. Will you come with me? All right. Where are we going? This is a dark, spooky cave. What are you doing here? Oh, Dit, are you? Hey! No, of course not. Wait, what are we doing? What, what are we talking about? Haha, <laughs> I was just joking. But will you be all right in a place like this at night? What about ghosts? Hey, don't. Start talking about ghosts, they'll start appearing. <laughs> hey! Uh, of course, I'm not scared of ghosts. I'm not a little kid. Come on, we're going to the beach. I don't get it. She said they were here. Oh, what's that? What? 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 Just kidding. <laughs> huh? He was messing with you. Hey! Cut it out! Hey, then. Sorry. Seriously, this is stupid. I'm going home. There are any ghosts in the cave at night? Sierra was just trying to scare me. Huh? Did you say something? <laughs> Never mind. See you. Was Sierra just daring you again? We got pot recipes for that. Nice work. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe we were like looking for like fireflies or something because it's summer, but okay, we're just looking for that ghost again. Uh, all right, James. A request that needs to say secret. Time to see James. I think he's still around. He's at the blacksmith. Elena's here. A little, a little bit of walking. Malin. That's not a bad name at all. That rhymes with Talon. <laughs> it's like all I could think of. Like, hey, the, the dragon's name is Talon. Like, that's what I name my characters in my Harvest Moon LPs. So I'll just name it Malin. The, the other character. <laughs> Alright, please come in. It's open. Thank goodness we're friends. You'll let me in. Sorry to interrupt your work. Good evening. All ready to face tomorrow? I've been waiting for you. Listen. I need you to help me help me help Elena. I think she's falling for someone. I'm worried about who it could be. Whoa, she's falling for someone. What makes you think that? Hmm. Haven't you seen the change in her face? The distracted sparkle in her eye. What are you talking about? Anyway, I need you to see if there's some suspicious man around Elena. Alright. I'm the suspicious man. <laughs> but it's only about the golems, I swear. Evening! 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 Hello. I did I give you a gift today? I think not. I'm ready to go. Let's give you another one. The days blend in together. I forget. Huh? What's up? Why are you staring at me, weirdo? Uh, he doesn't seem any different than usual. Maybe it's so subtle that only a family member would notice a change. If you don't need something, can I go? I'm really busy. Best to be direct with Elena. <laughs> Do you like someone? Oh, that that will throw. <laughs> I feel like this is Aiden's approach, and like this is this is kind of beating around the bush. Let's be direct. Let's do Aiden's approach. Do you like someone? Huh? huh? Why do you want to know? That's a, a suspicious reaction. You sound like my brother. Sheesh. I'm really busy making my new golem. I don't have time for all this weird stuff. Rose the Warrior Festival where people compete to see who's the best with their weapon. I'm really good at making weapons, but I'm hopeless at using them. <laughs> so I'm gonna enter Golem instead. Did Makoto say that was okay? Hmm. Yeah, I just decided you can. I'm gonna surprise Makoto with it. Hey, are you sure that'll work? Oh, you do you. Alright. <laughs> I don't think for the question there, I don't think it matters what you pick. <laughs> I think like asking her directly is funny. It's just, like it's just so in her face. It just makes her mad. 
All right, I asked her. She just she just brushed me off. If we talk in my room, we don't have to worry about anyone hearing us. I'm ready. If Elena is in a relationship, I'm going to support her. Are, are you? Now tell me what's going on. You're blowing things way out of proportion. Elena's just obsessed with making her golem now, that's all. Yeah. Oh. Is that why she looks so distracted lately? Then I shall help her. Shut up! You'll just get in my way. How'd you get here so fast? Elena. You don't really want to help. You're just afraid to leave me alone. That was harsh. I was gonna give you a snack because you've been acting funny, but not anymore. I'm giving them to Aiden. Elena. James, I think we need to talk things out today, okay? <laughs> well, I'll be going then. You guys have a lot to talk about. About James' obsession to the... Is, is too much to the point that he lost his go girlfriend because he was a siscon. <laughs> Alright, we completed the request. We got some pudding. Aw. She made him pudding! What's next? He loves pudding, but now it's mine. I'll give it to him tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> then carry the one. Great, it all adds up. Alright, he's back doing, doing work. Work, work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think it's probably good to stop here. Uh, let's see. How about with my remaining energy, I'll make, I'll make some food for tomorrow. <laughs> let's fry up a shouted one smelt. What other fishies do I have? Very d oh, I regret. Uh, <laughs> Make some more, I regret. I leveled up! Now it's easier. Okay. Can't give up now. If I trip on a weed, then I will die. Mm, quick, quick equip. Quick use. Let me put this on my bar. I got food for everyone, almost everyone. I also got some pot recipes today. Let me see if I can... Can I spot the difference? Milk porridge? Wasn't that Tabitha's favorite gift? Tempura. <clears throat> Ultimate curry, I can make that. Mm hmm, I wonder what that would be... That's only level 45 <laughs> recipe, that's actually pretty easy to make. The wine's a little expensive. Uh, but you can buy most of this from the store. That's a- that's a full restore right here. Strength plus 60. The ultimate curry. The aroma, taste, and appearance will render you speechless. Hmm. I think this might be- is this Quinn's favorite gift? Or does she like a different curry? She likes the ultimate curry. Hmm. I'll probably start making this next. I like how it has wine in it. I'm giving that to a kid. Alright, well, my energy is low, though, so... Fish soup. Odin. Very hearty soup. Cheese fondue? And I can make relaxed tea. Cheese fondue is pretty easy, though. It's just It just takes multiple steps. With the bread. You gotta make the bread. And then you can make the fondue. Alright, anyway. We gotta stop here. Stop! Stop! Abort! Uh, okay, so next episode... We have a lot of festivals. We have back-to-back -back festivals. Warrior Festival and then Fireworks Festival. Hopefully we have enough money for the Fireworks Festival. We have... I think we have enough. <laughs> we've, we've sold a lot of the scarves. Uh, I want to at least be able to buy 99 of each, of each item. Except for the dark and light crystals. Uh, those are a little expensive. I'll just get a reasonable amount of those. Um, and if push comes to shove, I can always just sell stuff at Joe to try to recoup recoup more money. Anywho, I hope you guys are having a relaxing time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, bye bye.